Hi guys, so in this lecture I'm going to be helping you with creating some text with formatting uh, such as bold and uh, yeah, bullet points, doing some underlining such as uh, yeah, go with the text that we have here. Okay, so let's get into it. So this text area here, uh, we have this section here. I'll go over that first. Um, so this player attributes section here, it's pretty much um, it's in bold and I've put here an underline here. So to do that, I'll give you an example here. Okay, so basically there, let's put the cursor there, and I just created a new line, so I can give you an example. Alright, so let's create the same text here. Layer attributes, colon. Let's just type in there, as you can see. So let's click and select that text, so we can make change to it. And then we want it bold. To make it bold, simply go over to this section here and click B for bold. Now we want to put that underline here. So again, with the text selected, you can just adjust the setting and click there, underline. There's also other uh, options for the underline. You can pick many other options and it gives you a preview of what it looks like. So we'll just create a nice simple one there, just click that, and then it creates an underline for you. Again, it's up to you on the size of the font. This one is the same, 12. Increase it, that still makes it bigger, and it's up to you. You see the bigger the font size, it makes it stand out more. So we can make it maybe a bit bigger there. Okay, so we let's delete that. And that's our new heading here for player attributes. For um, creating a colon, just in case you're not sure, um, basically you hit shift and then it's just the key to your keyboard to the right of the L key. And then that creates a colon here. Colon or semicolon. Hold shift or don't hold shift. It gives you those options. Alright, so we have the options here now for high, for weight. Now these are in bullet points here. So to adjust bullet points, basically you. Okay, so let's create some bullet points here. So there, enter, enter. So we are putting a bullet point here. To insert a bullet point, we bring our mouse up here. So the option for numbering for bullet point. So you can simply click. And then you get a bullet point here. So again, you simply just type there, and we have another bullet point there. So to create that extra one, simply you have this blink line there. So you hit enter, and you hit tab on your keyboard. There. So it looks the same. Now, if we're wanting to make this not like a heading, because that's what that one looks like. So if we click left here and drag. So to undo that underline, you simply go back and unclick. So it disappears. And then we just want it a bit smaller, not the same font uh, size as that. So we just make it smaller. So we click this button here, shrink font size. There we go. And then this uh, type, we don't really want bold. So let's just unclick. There you go. So now it looks the same. And to put the text there, simply click wherever you want to type in any document. There, there. See, what I'm doing is left click. So this mouse is great for putting in a spot where you want to type. And here, height. As you can see up here, changes. So height, none. And then if I click here, this underline in bold appears again. Just to make sure that that doesn't happen, you can just unclick there before you type, and then that makes sure that formatting stays there. So height, okay, let's put in the same number here. It's a bit bigger. So again, click and highlight, and you go back up here and just make it smaller. If you're wanting to write in your own uh, font size, you can also do that in here. Simply click this arrow. And then you can adjust the different font size to exactly what you want. You can also type here, space, or 
enter. And then that just makes it bigger. So either way works fine, it's up to you. And I'll just leave it at size number one. Right, so I'll just show you a few more options with the bullet points. When you want to add more bullet points, simply click there. Say I want to add one up to 168 centimeters, simply hit enter. Just one. So this is just sample text I'm putting in here. And again, you can actually use the keyboard to move around the text. Again, just hit enter. And if you want to bring this uh, bullet point to another heading like pipe, uh, simply hit enter again, and then it uh, creates a new uh, main bullet point heading. So I can type again, and same thing. So you type your text, enter. I don't want it as a main heading, so again, just hit tab. And if you want it as another main bullet point, you can hit enter. So same thing, tab or enter. And if we are actually just wanting to create some new text without a bullet point straight away, hit enter again. And if we want it on another line, simply hit enter again, again. There you go. So there we have it. It's uh, creating some bullet points for you, adjusting some text, and increasing, uh, changing the layout options. Uh, yeah, thanks again for listening to my lecture. Um, yeah. And in the next lecture, we'll be discussing on uh, images and adjusting image layout. Thanks so much, and uh, yeah, stay tuned in for the next lecture. You'll be listening to Miguel. Bye.